The last concept in this aim is the angular bisector. As the name suggests, the angular bisector is a line sector that divides an angle into two equal parts. For example, in this diagram, the angle at vertex B is divided into two equal halves by a line segment. This line segment is the angular bisector. It is possible to measure the angular bisector in terms of the side of the triangle. In general, the bisector of angle A is denoted by beta A. Beta A is equal to 2 by B plus C into the square root of BCS into S minus A, where S is the semi-perimeter. The value for S, the semi-perimeter, is A plus B plus C by 2. Here are some questions based on what you have been taught in this aim. Find the length of median MA when A is equal to 6 cm, B is equal to 5 cm and C is equal to 5 cm. The formula for finding the median is MA is equal to half of the square root of 2B squared plus 2C squared minus A squared. By substituting our given values into this equation, you get MA is equal to half of the square root of 2 into 5 squared plus 2 into 5 squared minus 6 squared. This is equal to half of the square root of 2 into 25 plus 2 into 25 minus 36. Simplifying this, you get half of the square root of 64. The square root of 64 is 8. Therefore, MA is equal to half of 8, which is equal to 4. Find the length of the angular bisector beta A when A equals 6, B equals 6 and C equals 6. We know the formula for calculating the angular bisector is 2 by B plus C into the square root of BCS into S minus A where S is the semi-perimeter. The value for S, the semi-perimeter, is A plus B plus C by 2. Substituting the values of A, B and C into the equation, you get 6 plus 6 plus 6 divided by 2. This is equal to 18 divided by 2, which is equal to 9. Now, we substitute the values for A, B, C and S into the main equation. This gives you beta A is equal to 2 divided by 6 plus 6 into the square root of 6 into 6 into 9 in 9 minus 6. This can be simplified to 2 divided by 12 into the square root of 6 into 6 into 3. If you break up the numbers into their simplest forms, you get 1 by 6 into the square root of 2 into 3 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. Now, you can remove any numbers that will be multiplied into themselves and put them outside the root. This will leave you with 1 by 6 into 2 into 3 into 3 into root 3. 6 and 2 into 3 will cancel out and leave you with 3 into root 3. Therefore, the length of the angular bisector is 3 root 3. Let us summarize what you have learnt in this aim. There are four concurrent lines in a triangle. The median which joins a vertex and the midpoint of the opposing side. The altitude, which is a line perpendicular to a side that joins it to the opposing vertex. The perpendicular bisector, which is a line perpendicular to a side that divides the side into two equal parts. And the angular bisector, which is a line that divides an angle at a vertex into two equal parts.